Okay, so we now know that Apple is really pushing to release iOS 18.2 sooner rather than later. Today is Monday, November 11th. It is a federal holiday here in the US and typically we don't see any software updates or any betas on federal holidays, but it looks like Apple wants to release this software update fairly soon. iOS 18.2, Beta 3 was released today for registered developers and it brings quite a bit of improvements to the Photos application. In my opinion, I like some of the changes happening within the Photos application. We'll talk about those here in just a few seconds. There's also additional updates to writing tools and even some UI changes that I wanna talk about. Now, there's still a few betas before the official release of iOS 18.2. Let's head on over into the About section here and take a look at the iOS version. Take a look at the latest build number for the third beta. Ending on the letter E, this typically means that we have perhaps one to two more betas before the RC and official release. If you haven't been following, Mark German says that iOS 18.2 should be released in less than a month on December 2nd. Monday, December 2nd is the rumored date for iOS 18.2 worldwide. And now aside from iOS 18.2 beta 3 today, Apple also released iPadOS 18.2 beta 3 for the iPads. macOS 15.2 beta 3 is also here. We also have tvOS 18.2 beta 2 release and watchOS 11.2 beta 2 is now available for the Apple Watch as well. I've heard some users are having issues installing the latest beta for watchOS. Let me know if you're encountering any of those issues. And the first thing I want to talk about is some of the new writing tools uh, or changes happening within the menu for writing tools. So if you have a sentence, for example, right, and you bring up this menu here, this context menu, you now have the writing tools pop-up option on the first section of this menu right here. So you can go ahead and press and use your writing tools immediately. You don't have to dig around the menu. So they're now available within the first pop-up of this menu here right there for the context menu right there as you can see on the latest beta. Now there's also some changes as I mentioned happening inside of the photos application. So I have iOS 18.1 on this device here and 18.2 beta 3 on this iPhone here on the left. So let's go ahead and take a look at a video here that I have on both devices and let's run them next to each other. So can you tell the difference? So take a look at this here on the left you see that the video takes up most of the screen and if I tap here you see that on this device on the right once I tap it zooms out and brings up all the controls, media controls, and all your other options. On the latest beta, if you tap on the screen, your controls pop up, but the screen does not change as you see right there. So nothing changes when you tap on the screen, only the menus and controls hide from the view and appear from the view when you tap it, unlike previous software where it just zooms in and out and the actual controls and menus pop up once it is pushed sort of out there as you can see from this example. Same thing applies to photos as you see right here. I tapped on this photo. You see right there it is outlined with all the elements. As you see here on the left, the latest beta, you have all your controls but it's taking up the entire screen. And I know the photos application has been somewhat of a controversial update in iOS 18 and Apple just continues to make changes for that application on the latest beta. Let me know what you think about some of the latest changes happening here for the photos application. And now I also want to mention that if you go to share an image here, we now have the airplay icon or the airdrops, excuse me, the airdrop icon. You see there that it sort of changes to a dark mode if you have sort of dark mode themed icons on your iPhone and it sort of looked different as well. It looks slightly different than in previous betas as you see right here. So if I go into customizing here and we go into the light mode icons, you see there that when we go back to share, we now have the light mode icon as you see right there. So it adapts according to the color of your icons and even the tinted option also applies for airdrop, which is really cool on the latest beta. I like to see things sort of get, you know, polished up. And that's what it appears to be within the latest beta that Apple is doing here. Apple continues to polish the software. I have to say so far, the experience with 18.2 uh, beta two and now beta three seems pretty polished up and I hope it continues throughout the next couple of days. Now, Apple is also releasing new firmware updates according to Mac rumors for AirPods and AirPods Pro. Now, I haven't had my AirPods update just yet, but according to Mac rumors, a new firmware update release for AirPods and AirPods Pro models. I'll link everything in the description down below. And of course, I'll give you guys an update video if I find anything new within the latest firmware for AirPods. So yeah, new AirPods firmware appears to be rolling out within the latest beta for iOS 18.2 beta 3. And that's everything I wanted to share with you guys in today's video. If I continue to find any additional changes that I think are worth mentioning, obviously I'll follow up with an additional video. So make sure to subscribe and stay tuned. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.